around the world celebrate the solemnity of St. Joseph, protector of the family and patron of the Universal Church and of workers. In Italy, St. Joseph's Day is also known as Father's Day. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser has more. Giuseppe pregava. Joseph prayed, worked, and loved. Because of this, he always received what he needed to face life's trials. The Feast of St. Joseph celebrates the patron saint of fathers. In Italy and around the world, it's a day to honor the man who embodied the spirit of giving for their families. In the heart of Rome, among ancient splendors and relics, lies a treasure seldom seen by the public eye. The Basilica of St. Anastasia is the garden of a relic of St. Joseph. For 16 centuries, this basilica has housed a holy garment believed to have been brought to Rome by St. Jerome in the 4th century, along with a colorful veil of the Virgin Mary. The two relics offer a glimpse into the Holy Family's life, where St. Joseph silently cared for Mary and Jesus. Pope Francis, speaking about fatherhood during one of his general audiences, emphasized that fathers are not born, but made. It's about accepting the responsibility for another's life, a commitment that transforms a man into a father. A man does not become a father simply by bringing a child into the world, but by taking up the responsibility to care for that child. This responsibility St. Joseph carried out through his life and left an example for today's fathers. In your family is to live heroically. Bishop Robert Barron, reflecting in an interview with EWTN in Rome, points out that St. Joseph is a man of action. I love how Joseph never speaks in the, in the Gospels. We never hear one word from him. He's a man of obedience to the Lord. He takes in the divine word and then he does it. He acts. Uh, not a lot of uh, blah, blah and talking and explaining and excusing himself. He listens and he acts. And he acts by providing and protecting. Or look to Joseph, listen, take in the divine word, and then get going, do it. In his apostolic letter, Patris Corda, Pope Francis presents St. Joseph as a figure of compassionate love and as a father who accepts, teaches, and is present through the ordinary yet significant actions of daily life. In the Basilica of St. Anastasia in Rome, St. Joseph's cloak symbolizes a story of love and sacrifice. Legend has it that upon Mary's suggestion, Joseph traded the cloak she had given him on their wedding day for wood to continue his carpentry, symbolizing the selflessness and care at the heart of his legacy. In Rome, Andreas Tonehauser and Matteo Chaffee, EWTN News Nightly.